The Mobile Interactive PPMCS is actually not just another new application for mobile maintenance and service orders on SAP. Indeed, the business process to do that is quite defined and has been there for quite some years. What we did was to take a step back and to analyze two key points for an enterprise. One is, how can an enterprise design uh, processes which are exactly reflecting their business process in an easy way and driven by a business unit? And the second one is how to operate that process in a very efficient way. The architecture actually consists of three areas. Um, the main one is your SAP system. You already have that. That's incorporated in your system landscape and that's exactly where we want to leave all the business logic and all the data. And that's the area where we will do the design of the application as well. So we provide an add-on which is certified by SAP. And you install that add-on and have all the business processes available as we have seen in the design workbench to configure your business process. The second component is the cloud itself and we put that thing in the cloud in order to um, shield the complexity of mobility from your enterprise. So it's a separate system, um, it acts sort of uh, a gateway for your mobility data, it does not contain any business logic or you don't have to develop in that system or configure anything, um, but it's the gateway for your mobility. And the third component is the layer uh, in which the mobile devices operate. So there's the full range of mobile devices receiving data from your SAP system through the cloud and sending it back through the cloud to your SAP system. And that can be anything from a phone 7 device, an Android, um, an iPhone, down to small Nokia mobile phones and then up to tablets and laptop PCs. Okay, uh, we are now in the design environment of the mobile application. Um, we are aiming at a business unit which wants to design a mobile application. Um, which has in mind the business process with the technician in the field is going to carry out and wants to reflect that in its mobility solution. Um, so we rather think about business processes than about data objects. So we're going to create a new scenario now. We are giving it a name here. And what we see now is an empty screen with, with just the scenario name and we now want to add business process by business process in the sequence required for the technician. So we jump into the pool of business processes and this pool actually is the, the complete functionality which is available. Difference to normal applications is that we tailor them into small pieces and these small pieces can be put together. So what we did now is we selected the order processing for example as a basis process. We added it to the scenario. You can see that here that by default we propose three steps for that. The customer details, the order details and the order long text. You, you as a customer can now start to, to um, work on these proposals in order to define do I want to use all of them. Here we say for example we are doing an internal maintenance so we don't need the customer details, we take them out. Next thing is, okay, we are doing a more sophisticated maintenance, so we just not only want to view details, but work on the order. To do that, we add another business process to work on operations. So we again open our menu for adding of business processes. We jump into the pool of business processes and we just see those business processes which make sense in the current status of the application. So in order processing, those are the ones we see here. Um, we decide to use the order activity processing and add that to the application. Again the same, we see then here the proposal for the order activity processing and can start to customize that proposal. Um, we see here the steps which are proposed after saving. Here they are, so we see the, um, the activity text which is editable and the time confirmation. We said that we wanted material confirmation as well, so we want to add that. Again the same, we jump into the pool of, of business processes, we pick out the right one uh, for the material confirmation and we have built now the process which we wanted to, 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 um, to, to set up in the system. And we've done that by putting pieces together, small pieces, um, 
We could put other pieces now into it, we could change the sequence, we could redesign the screens, um, but it's all done without any developments right now. So right now we have the material confirmation. Next thing we can see is within each business step there is a customizing, so you can adopt the business process to your needs even further. You can go in now and decide things like do I want to confirm with a serial number or without? Do I want to have availability checks on my goods, which I confirm in the order, etc. Here, for example, we can decide to use unplanned materials for this technician, so he has a van stock. And we see here the integration into the logistics process as well. Same is available for time confirmations. Um, you see again the customizing here for activity types, accounting indicators, um, how to work with the order in case it is closed by the user, etc. If we save the whole thing, it's integrated here in the transport system of SAP. So it tightly integrates into your whole SAP context. And what we've done now is we've created a whole scenario. We're expanding it now completely. Um, and you can see that we have created quite a complex process flow just by... Okay, so we've created a scenario which uh, resembles what the technician will do on the mobile device. We have decided which screens he should go to in order to complete his work. Um, we now want to sort of test run it. So we go in the SAP system, create an order and send that order to the mobile device. So we've created a service order here. I'm going to add a short text, um, a sold to party, the customer and the work center in order to decide that this order is relevant for my technician. And I'm looking at the operations next. We can see that there's only one operation available here. Um, that's fine for the demo, that's okay. And we now release the order and save it so that it can be sent to the mobile device. Okay, so we are now on the mobile device. This time it's an iPhone. Um, I'll trigger a synchronization now and we should get a new order on the mobile device. We can see now that we had two priority high orders. We have now a priority very high order, so we will check that order. Um, we can see that we can switch around the device, for example, to see longer texts. Switch it back. And we can now see all the details to the order. So let's say we want to see the customer details. We have everything from the SAP order. Same for the order details, location, when it's time to start this order and to finish it, as well as all the long text. Let's step into the operations. We have defined uh, only one operation here, the showcase high operation. Status is open. And if we go into the operation, we see all the activities which we have defined can be executed for this operation. So the long text, confirm times, confirm materials, and we can complete the operation. We want to confirm times now. Interesting here is the field remark, which we have just changed in our scenario. So as a business unit, we decided this flow on the application, but as well this wording within the application. If I do it with the time confirmation now, you can see that it is using the controls, native controls of the iPhone, but so if we enter a time, it only shows numbers. You can select now that we've worked two hours, for example, in this case, input a remark and select it's a final time confirmation. So we are done. We can complete this operation but still, for example, we want to work on the equipment, so we can decide to install an equipment, for example, um, into a functional location. So we select now which functional location to select it to. If we have multiple lines here, we can expand them to read them. Let's say we install it in the engineering room. We have now the defined installation time and date, which is editable in this case, and we are done with the installation of an equipment. I complete the order now. You can see it's gone from the mobile screen and being synchronized into the SAP system right now.
okay, we've created the scenario, we have created an order, we have sent the order to the mobile device and we have seen how the technician has worked with it. What we want to see now is what happens with the data in SAP again. Um, we have triggered a synchronization, so the data has arrived from the mobile device again into your company SAP system. And what I want to show you finally is how a monitoring looks like. Um, and you see that on the screen now, you see the list of your technicians, you see different search options which can be executed. So you can either approach the way by finding your path through your, through your technicians and the orders he has worked on, or by just free searching. Let's say a technician calls and says I have a problem with this specific order, with this specific notification. You can search by the number and directly jump into um, the problem or into the solution of the problem actually. Um, and we see that here, um, I will open the tree now, you can see the orders which have been completed by this technician and which are still pending. Um, so we have seen the complete picture now. Um, this is finally the way back of the data into the SAP system, the closed loop, um, to see the whole business process. The first one is we wanted to offer pool of standard business processes which are equal across the industries um, but still to have the, the understanding and, and to know that each enterprise needs to adopt such processes to their own needs. The second one is that we don't believe in monolithic applications anymore. So we don't deliver you an application for maintenance and services which is closed and you cannot connect it to other parts of your business but it's an open environment, you can integrate your MM can integrate CRM, so we believe that it's rather a pool of overall business processes which should be then put together into a process flow. Um, the third one is that we wanted to have a solution which is tailored to minimize the effort of your IT department. What we actually wanted to do is we wanted to have a solution which can be driven by the business unit, which best knows what the technicians in the field need. Um, with minimal effort from an IT perspective. And the fourth one is that we wanted to have mobility on the wide range of devices available in the market. So no matter which device you want to choose, um, you can use it. Even if you implement a solution, you're not bound to one device, so you can follow the, the, the new developments on the market and reflect that in your solution.